Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the mechanism of the properties of halo alkene. Already know halo alkene shows nucleophilic substitution reaction and elimination reaction. This is the common properties of nucleophilic substitution reaction that is halo alkene. So what are the mechanism? How the, in which case the reaction will be faster? What are the kinetics of the reaction? What are the thermodynamics of the reaction? Let us discuss. But uh, it is uh, that uh, already discussed that halo alkene in the structure. If you see the structure of halo alkene, R X. It is a polar compound and carbon carry partial positive and halogen carry partial negative charge due to polar nature. So, nucleophile can attract. What is nucleophile? Nucleophile means either carry lone pair or having negative charge. It may be neutral or having negative charge. If there is carbon carry partial positive, so attack. Then you can do release. So, as the carbon carry partial positive charge, so nucleophile is it is attracted towards the partial positive carbon. That's why and at the same time the living group released from the substrate. That's what is called nucleophilic substitution. So what is the product? You see the product will be if you see the product will be R Mu plus X minus. But here, in what way? What are the steps involved in the nucleophilic substitution reaction? Nucleophile attack the carbon atom of halo alkene because carbon carry partial positive. But to you know what are the steps? What are the procedure for attacking the nucleophile to the carbon atom. Let us discuss. But it is uh, observed that nucleophilic substitution reaction generally uh, can be explained in two mechanisms. Generally in two mechanisms. Mechanism is mechanism of nucleophilic substitution reaction. First one is that is SN1 mechanism. SN1 you can say SN1 reaction. SN1 mechanism. Second one is SN2 mechanism. SN1 mechanism and SN2. This by these two mechanisms we can explain the nucleophilic substitution reaction of halo alkene. So what is SN1? SN1 mechanism for form is generally you write here that is SN1 mechanism. SN1 reaction, you can say for SN1 reaction, for all SN1 reaction, the full form is that is, you write here substitution, substitution nucleophilic, nucleophilic. Unimolecular. Unimolecular. Substitution nucleophilic unimolecular. But SN2 is substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. So SN1, SN1 reaction is substitution nucleophilic unimolecular. Here what happens? Here the whole reaction is divided into two steps. Generally SN1 mechanism proceeds in two steps. First step, step one. Step one is breaking of substrate into but carbocation, formation of carbocation, 
formation of carbo cation means carbon carbo cation means carbonium ion will form in the first step breaking of the bond then second step second step step 1 then you can write here step 2 step 2 is that attacking of attacking of nucleophile to the carbocation to the carbocation so this is the but step 1 is the slow step it is the slow step and the second step is the fast step if you see the kinetics first step is the slow step second step is the fast step for you see let us example suppose CH3 O3 C X reacts with aqueous KOH here for this CH3 O3 COH because here nucleophile is minus then it will attack then it will produce so product will be alcohol and KX but what are the mechanism if you discuss this compound in SN1 mechanism the step 1 will be what is the step 1 step 1 will be the formation of what carbocation formation of carbocation so you have to take the substrate this is the substrate first step converted to carbocation formation always first step is formation of carbocation breaking of this bond produce x minus then step 2 step 2 step 2 is the attacking of carbocation by nucleophile here nucleophile is OH minus here nucleophile OH minus forming alcohol product but first step is the slow step this is the slow we know in chemical kinetic slow step is the red determining step so the product will be like this so the first step is the slow step formation of carbocation and second step is attacking the nucleophile as it is car carbocation carrying positive charge and nucleophile carrying negative charge so the action is very fast is it fast so this is the red determining step as the slow step is the red determining step as per the kinetics mechanism of kinetics so the rate of reaction of this reaction is equal to k only swiss as a swiss step only one molecule of substrate is involved so only the concentration of substrate is involved this is the expression of kinetics of the what sn1 reaction so sn works all sn1 reaction having two steps first step is the formation of carbocation second step is the attacking of nucleophile to the carbocation so and the kinetics is this what is k is q so it is a fast order it is a fast order reaction fast order reaction you can say that sn1 reaction is a fast order all sn1 reaction is fast order unimolecular fast order and unimolecular so this is the what no involvement of nucleophile in sn1 reaction there is no involvement of nucleophile then we will see the what are the factors what are the factors affecting sn1 this is the mechanism first step and second step always remember this is a two step mechanism sn1 is two step mechanism then what are the factors involved in which case the sn1 reaction will be faster first the factor is that is polarity of solvent remember more polarity 
more polarity of some hand, more will be the more will be the more will be the reactivity. Polar, more polarity of solvent, more will be the reactivity. That means if polarity will be more, then reactivity will be faster. That means suppose example alcohol and water. If you take alcohol medium and alcohol medium, then the reactivity will be faster in water medium because water is more polar. Because the polar solvent helps to break this bond, to break this bond. Because CX bond will be, although it is polar, the bond will be easily broken in case of polar solvent because it carry charge. That's why the bond will be easily broken. So that nucleophile can easily attack. So first factor is polarity of solvent is more means SN1 reaction will be more. Second factor is that nature of haloalkane. Nature of haloalkane, remember, as the first step is the carbocation step, as the first step is the carbocation step, formation of carbocation step, so the stability of carbocation already know, so tertiary will be greater than secondary is greater than primary. As the haloalkane, if haloalkane is tertiary, then the formation of carbocation will be tertiary carbocation. If the tertiary carbocation is formed, so stability is more. That's why haloalkane, if haloalkane is tertiary, then the SN1 reaction will be faster because the formation of carbocation will be carbocation will be tertiary. From tertiary haloalkane, you will get tertiary carbocation. We know the stability of carbocation is tertiary greater than secondary and then primary. Also, we can see the other. If you compare this, the better will be benzyl. Order is benzyl, then alkyl, then tertiary, greater than secondary, greater than primary. You remember this order. Generally, in between tertiary, secondary, and primary, this is order. But if you take benzyl, benzyl, the reaction will be very faster. Benzyl, because benzyl carbocation goes to benzyl, then allyl, then tertiary, then secondary, then primary. This is the reactivity order of particular haloalkane because the carbocation is more stable. So this is the second factor. Third factor is you can say that third factor we can take the nature of living group. If nature of living group you think that weaker bond, if six bond is a weaker bond, that will be better living group. For example, if you take halogen, if you take CI, CI bond, let me do like this. CI will be faster than CBI will be faster than CCL will be faster than yeah. That means if the we are discussing only haloalkane, if you are discussing haloalkane, what is the order of reactivity? Your halo that means iodoalkane is faster than bromo because this bond, this bond is weaker bond. Weaker the bond, then the reactive haloalkane will be faster. So CI will be faster than C B R than C I. Then if you take other type of compound which shows nucleophilic substitution action. If the living group means that weaker base, if base will be weaker, if the base will be weaker, that means suppose uh, as I minus is produced, Br minus is produced, Cl minus is produced, F minus is produced, as Hi, if acidic character you see, acidic character order is Hi greater than HB, greater than HCl, greater than HF. This is order of acidic character. If acidic character order is like this, so the basic character will be I minus less than Br minus, less than Cl minus, less than F minus. That means strong acid conjugate base is weak. 
that is the already you know this is the concept strong acid base conjugate base will weak so weaker the conjugate base weaker the conjugate base better will be the nature of living group so i minus is weaker this is the what basic character basicity As basicity is always I minus less than B R minus less than C R minus less than less than F minus, so weaker the base, better will be the living group. Better living group. Better living group. Remember, this is called living group. X is called living group, and whole is a substrate. It is called a substrate. Substrate has two part. One is that is partial positive charge. And there is a partial negative charge. The group which is removed, that is called living group, and the group which is attached to the carbocation, that is called nucleophile. So they are very important. Or OH minus is nucleophile, X is the living group, and this is called substrate. Whole is a substrate. This is called nucleophile. So better the basicity of the better the that is weak weaker the basicity, better in the living group. That's why I. Iodine attached to the carbon will better living group than Br, than Cl, than F minus. This is all. So this is regarding the nature of what? This is the nature of uh, alcohol thing. Second one is that is the nature of the living group. Nature of living group will be better if the living group is weaker base. Weaker the basicity of the living group, then more will be the what? The activity. So this is the one concept, important concept we have to know that polarity, then nature of alkene, the nature of living group. Then another thing is nature of nucleophile also. You can see nature of nucleophile. Nature of nucleophile. You see, for example, ammonia is more basic than. PS3, then your SD, S3, like this. More is the basic character. More will be the basic character. Then, but if basic character is more, ammonia is more basic. Then the nucleophilic. If you see the nucleophilicity, nucleophilicity means attacking towards the nucleophile, attacking towards the carbon. That is called nucleophilicity. The nucleophilicity order will be nature of nucleophile. Then it will be this order. It will be like this. That, for example, I minus B R minus C L minus F minus. Who is the better nucleophile? Nucleophile. If it will be I minus, then B R minus C L minus F minus. Here. Better if you see the nucleophile, 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 nucleophile is attached to the what? Carbocation. When nucleophile attached to carbocation, it is losing the electron. It is losing the electron. So better will be I minus, better than B R minus, better than C L minus, because the tendency to lose electron of F minus is less. The tendency to lose electron F minus is Low. That's why the nucleophilic character will be less. So I minus. Similarly, ammonia greater than P S three. That is the lower basic character. So nucleophilic character will be just opposite. This is. So better the nucleophilicity. Nucleophilicity means here what happens? The tendency to lose electron. Here. The OH minus suppose RO minus and OH minus if you if you see RO minus can easily donate the electrons. That's why better the that uh, weaker we can say weaker the base better the nucleophile. As it is more basic, R is the more basic character, so weaker nucleophilicity. Nucleophilicity will be weaker. So, as I minus is a weaker, then better nucleophiles, better living group, and better nucleophiles. 
so this is the regarding what nature of nucleophiles nature of uh, living groups and nature of haloalkane then polarity of solvent all are affecting the what sm1 mechanism then what is the uh, stereochemistry 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 if you see the stereochemistry of uh, sn1 reaction as in the as the first step in the formation of a carbocation as the first step in the formation of carbocation if you see this is your x as the first step in the formation of carbocation as the first step in the formation of what formation of carbocation so as the second step in the attacking of nucleophile so the nature of product we are discussing the nature of product the as the carbocation is produced it is a planar set carbocation has planar set as it has planar set so planar set means both sides are free so nucleophile you see this is your carbocation this is your carbocation so nucleophile can attack nucleophile attack can front side can attack back side if it if there is possibility of attacking the nucleophile from front side and front side means the position of living group when the the, the side where the living group was fixed so this is the this is called front side and opposite side is called back side so front side back side both are free for attacking of nucleophile because there is no living group attached here already living group is left that's why both position is produced as both position suppose attacking from front side the nature of product will be like this same as your same as your which one reactor that is substrate if attacking back side the product will be like this so if it is a plus then it will be minus if both plus and minus product are there why the possibility of both plus and minus because both sides are free so either attack from front side or back side so the result will be dextrorotary product and levorotary both are product so if levo and dextro both are mixing the result is a racemic product racemic mixture only you have discussed racemic mixture so the nature of product of if you see the stereochemistry the nature of product of what which one the sn1 reaction is a racemic mixture because both plus and minus are produced why both plus and minus are produced because the carbocation is planar set so nucleophile can attack can attack front side or back side that's why racemic mixture is the product nature in sn1 reaction then if you see the stereochemistry that is stereoselective then it actually if you see sn1 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 reaction is not stereoselective or stereospecific because the formation of carbocation the result is always racemic mixture no that is no specific problem with the product is racemic mixture so you can say there is no stereoselective and stereospecific there is no position particular position that nucleophile attack nucleophile can attack front side or back side that's why it is not stereoselective not stereospecific you can say not stereo selective not stereoselective and stereospecific not stereoselective nor stereospecific because the result is always racemic mixture there is no possibility of what particular position or particular side it will attack it will always attack either left side or either back side or what front side that's why it is not stereoselective or stereospecific sn1 reaction 
So the nature of product always a racemic mixture. Then another important thing about SN1 reaction is if the bulky group, they are very important that uh, bulky group, if bulky group is taken, bulky group of nucleophile or bulky group of substrate, both, for both, both substrate and nucleophile. For both substrate nucleophile, if they are bulky, bulky means crowded, large groups, bigger groups are attached, they are bulky, reaction will be then SN1 reaction will be slow. It will be slow. If both are like this, SN1 will be slow. Slow means you can say but all cases SN1 mechanism will be slow. Because attacking. If bulky group, for examples, we can get this one example. Here you can write here, for examples, if uh, this group is taken, C H three, C H three, C H three, C C H two X. This is substrate. If this is a substrate, or this is a bulky group, or this is a bulky group present, you can say. If it is a bulky group present to this bulky group attached to X and attached to carbon, carbon attached to X, then the reaction will be slow. For this case, it is a slow reaction. SN1 reaction also slow because bulky group will not allow to attack nucleophile to this carbon because it may be carbon catalyst produced, but due to presence of this bulky group, it will not allow the attacking of nucleophile. That's why both SN1 or SN2 we will discuss later. SN1, SN2 for all these cases it will be slow. It may not take place also. Then SN2 mechanism. SN2 mechanism it is one step one step, one step process, one step process means both, that means attacking attacking of nucleophile, attacking nucleophile and releasing Releasing living group takes place at the same time. Same time. Both okay, attacking and releasing. That means you can suppose it is the your subtract. This is your substrate, then nucleophile. Suppose you take the nucleophile, then what happens? Nucleophile will attack and living group will be released. So, if during attacking, as the living group already present in the front side, so nucleophile attack from the back side. So, what happens? It will be a what? Transition state. This is your nucleophile. And this is your living group. Okay? This is your any group you can get. This is called transition state. This is the transition state. During uh, what? During the attacking of nucleophile and the releasing the living group, of course, at the same time. The nucleophile is coming closer to the carbon and the living group is releasing from the carbon. 
so occurring same time that is called transition state then finally it will be converted to but as attack as front side is already covered by living group so nuclear can attack from back side so first will be just opposite you can say that will be opposite so if you take plus side some more result will be minus because from side is not free but in case of sn1 reaction what happens fast releasing group or living group is released that's why both sides are free but here from side is occupied by x that is living group that's why nucleophile always prefer to attack back side so the result is plus result to minus so it is very important is stereoselective and stereo specific also that what stereo specific the result is always inverted inverted from inverted the result is always that is called wild and inverse so this is the mechanism of what attacking and releasing a living group occurs in same time in both transition state then if you see what are the factors what are the factors what are the kinetics you to write if what are the expression of kinetics already as both are taking place attacking and releasing so the rate will be kinetics is gx by dt k and you will subtract your subtract and both nucleophile both in both so it is what second order so that's why it is second order reaction sn2 is second order but sn1 is first order this is the kinetics and the result is the stereo chemistry if you observe the result is always inverted product what are the factors factors is you have to see first one is the polarity polarity of solvent polarity of solvent polarity of solvent depends upon the nature first one is if if both both means what subtract nucleophile if both are non polar if both are non polar then if both are non polar then more greater higher polarity higher polarity solvent higher polarity solvent increases the rate increases the rate that means if both are non polar here this is polar but if both are non polar then if polarity is solvent is more then sn2 reaction will be faster then second if any one any one is polar if any one means nucleophile or this if any one is polar that means carrying partial positive or partial negative if any one is polar then what happens if any one is polar then non polar solvent okay is very important this is the polarity of solvent generally polarity of solvent normally does not affect because attacking and releasing takes place in the same time then second factor is that is nature of substrate nature of substrate will be tertiary less than secondary less than and this is for sn2 mechanism for sn2 mechanism tertiary will be slow because tertiary means bulky group are there if bulky group attaches to the carbon tertiary carbon then attacking of nucleophile will be slow that's why tertiary less than secondary less than primary but in sn1 just opposite tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary so this is regarding your sn2 mechanism nature of substrate then nature of substrate 
and another thing is regarding already discuss that uh, the living room living room nature of living room that r i will be greater than r b greater than r c greater than r f because as the nature of i the r is the larger size if it is larger size easily uh, this C I bond is weaker bond. Weaker bond means easily broken. That's why R I will be faster than R B R R C L R. Or you can say better the living group nature depends on weaker base. If the conjugate base is weak, that means I minus is the conjugate base of H I. If conjugate base is weaker, then it will better living group. So R I better than R B R greater than R C L greater than R F. This is the order. Okay. And for SN2 reaction, the if bulky group, the bulky group is there. Bulky group, if substrate carry bulky group, reaction will be slow. Reaction will be slow. Earlier discuss this same case. That means if you take any bulky group attached to Carbon carrying partial positive, which is attached to the living group, the reaction will be slow. So this, in this, this example, both SN1, SN2 will be. But you see the nature. This is a total bulky group attached to carbon. If bulky group attached to carbon, both SN1, SN2 will be slow. So bulky group, bulky group reaction will be slow. So this has been. And the what are the Uh, that uh, stereo, that uh, stereo specific, or it is called which is also stereo stereo selective and stereo specific. Stereo selective means always attack backside, and the nature of product is always inverted product. It is called Wilden inversion. It is also called Wilden inversion. Wilden inversion. The product is Wilden inversion, that inverted product. So this is regarding the what? For example, uh, we can say this example. Suppose this case. Suppose this is X. Suppose this is X. Here X. But you also have to see which is faster for SN1, SN2. But if you see the whether it is primary or secondary tertiary, as X is attached to the carbon, which attaches to another two carbon, so it is secondary. But this is tertiary. As the tertiary is secondary, then order of SN1 reaction order is SN1 reaction order is secondary greater than tertiary. But for SN2 reaction, for SN2 reaction order will be. Tertiary greater than second. As it is a tertiary, SN1 will be prefer. As it is secondary, SN2 will prefer. Already discussed. Tertiary will be least reactive to least. So this is regarding the mechanism of SN1 and SN2 reaction. Okay, you practice more. What is the difference of SN1 and SN2 reaction in graphically? For you see. This is your reaction energy, potential energy. This is the progressive reaction. Progressive reaction. If you see SN reaction, SN one reaction. If you see, this is your. This is your reactant. This is your product, and this is your transition state. This is called also transition state. This is called intermediate formation of intermediate. This is example of SN1 reaction. SN1 reaction. But for SN2 reaction, this is your energy. This is your reaction progress. For SN2 reaction, 
it will be always like this. That means what? Only transition state. Only transition state. No intermediate. Intermediate is carbocation. You see carbocation. Carbocation is produced. Reaction progress increasing. Here energy is increasing, then decreasing due to formation of what? Carbocation. So slow state is a slow state and this is formation of carbocation. Then what happens? Intermediate and nucleophile attack. Then transition state again, it is showing the transition state. So first step breaking of the bond forming the carbocation, then attacking of nucleophile with the carbocation. Then this was two transition state in involved here and one intermediate is formed. But here no intermediate form. Here only attacking of nucleophile and substrate both at this stage. No intermediate is formed. This is your SN part. SN2 mechanism. But it may be exothermic. But remember SN1 reaction always exothermic. First step. First step is endothermic and second step is exothermic. So overall the reaction is exothermic. So the difference upon the reaction, what are the nature of the reaction? If the suppose it may be like this, if energy or if you start from here, for SN2 reaction I am telling, for SN2 mechanism we are discussing, here reactant, here product, as your product has a lower energy than reactant, this is, this is called exothermic. Exothermic process. But it may be of course in other way. It is like this. The reactant, it is product. So this case, it is endothermic. So it depends upon in SN1 also, the, this graph transition state may be lower, may be higher than the product. This is for reactant, this is for product formation. It may be lower, it may be higher. Or it may be lower, it may be higher. It depends upon the nature of what? Reactants. So this is regarding the graphical representation of energy diagram of SN1 and SN2 reaction. Okay. Thank you.